What a bossy sister. Tell me about it. Air Seal didn't seem to make a dent on her. I'm disappointed in my magic. <laughs> Say Patrice adores me in her own way. She just has a tough way of expressing love. I'm beginning to think I sided with the wrong sister. <laughs> Shut up. So, shit is getting real. Are you excited? As a matter of fact, I am. Never would have guessed I'd end up tangled in politics. But I'll use this opportunity to stop complaining and start doing. You're about to become someone's Idana, aren't you? Well, I think I'll handle things with justice, but yeah. You never know who you're about to piss off. Okay then, what do you need me to do? What do you mean? For example, do you want me to deliver a letter uh, to summon Dolly and Jasmine to let them hear about your final stance? Good idea. Friendly reunion before the race? You never know how gruesome things will get. And the three of us didn't have the chance to meet. Just hang out like old times, so do invite them, please. I will. You know, it's a pity you wouldn't tell, tell Patrice about my existence. I believe we could have formed a pretty good team. Patrice has got enough on her plate. I know she'd do anything for me, but I don't want to put unnecessary burdens on her. You've been doing great so far. Just keep doing what you've been doing. Oh yeah? What's that? Acting as comic relief. <laughs> we do make for a great couple of clowns, don't we? Speak for yourself. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. You just let me know if you need any more divine interventions to save your sorry ass. <laughs> I think I'm going to lay down for a bit now. Need some rest before facing the mess I've gotten myself into. TTYL. The Judge. You dream about, you're reading a book with pages made of mirrors. You can still read the text surfacing all over your face in the reflection. It is a uh, treatise that prov proves that the Big Bang Theory is a lie. When you close the book, the universe stops existing. Whoops. I unmade the universe. Alright. Hang on. I'll talk to Jasmine's turtle in a second. I'm gonna need a new card for this. I'm just gonna have tons of cards. All the cards. What place haven't I done? I know what I want. The Opera House. Where's my Gundam? There's my Gundam. Oof. No angel wings for my Gundam. Do the dual hammers. Flails and whips. Giant flaming sword. A cane of sacred wood. Maybe. I think we're gonna dual hammer this one. It's gonna be a badass robot. Yeah, why would you be anywhere other than right in the middle of the stage? Okay, how does this whole thing fit together? It looks like this is meant to cover up the Gundam a little bit. Okay, 
the kneecaps right. What does that look like in the back? Yeah, it's all right. big arms in here and of course the hammer whoop grab the hammer all right so you go to the very front you go to the very front but then back up a little bit Let's not be too in the way. All right, let's rotate this arm a little bit. Let's see, a little bit back, all the way forward. I'm disagreeing with my original positioning. I like the, the crotch guard hammers. There we go. How's that? Pretty good, right? We'll drive some nails into the background just, just for kicks. So we give them giant crab claws too. Ooh, we can make it like a scorpion tail. I think. You go to the very back. Then you go to the very back. You go to the back, but then come forward. Oh, I'm digging the scorpion tail. Drink up a little bit. Go to the very back. Creep up. Yeah, there we go. Center stage giant Gundam.
so much points. Steel resonance. The chambers of the opera house make all meanings resonate through every context. With its massive figure, the mecha enforces authority. Mecha pilots are excellent guardians. The obsidian sledgehammers fixate on offering empowering revelations. Yes. Well, that looks like Jasmine's little uh, crab. Love a good crab. You wanted to see us, right? I'd love to get together before the race starts. Let me know when it's a good time and I'll pick up Dahlia and come over to your place. Your friend, Jasmine. Invite. Thanks for coming. It's been centuries since we got the three of us together. I don't know why we didn't do this, like, I don't know, right away. What's up, witches? And you bet, magic life can get so chaotic sometimes, we just forget to enjoy it. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Makes me happy to see the two of you together. What did we do the last time we met? Um, I remember. You two came over to my garden. We had some delicious pastries that Fortuna baked herself. Oh, I remember. Uh, and we opened that bottle of swordfish liquor and I I got from the Nomad Sky Caravan. Oh shit, I do remember now. We started to play that silly mortal games you taught us. Alright, truth or dare. <laughs> uh, it was all the rage among the teenagers when I was a young mortal. Ah oh, damn. Then I, then I dared you to read into the future of the coven. And that is... How the incident started. Fucking Idana. This is all her fault. If you ask me, she got off lightly. Now it's up to us to clean up her fucking mess. Are you nervous about the elections? You can't imagine. I'm cool. More excited than anything. On one hand, I'm not worried because whoever wins in the end, the Coven is going to be well looked after. On the other hand... I want what's best for the coven, and I truly believe my program is the safest bet. Just to be clear, I do think you'd make for a lovely leader, but playing it safe is the death of progress, Jasmine. But aren't we all well already? We just need to iron out Idana's more abusive politics and put some love into the community. It's because the status quo benefits you. Think about all the novices, all the witches who don't fit in that orderly vision, myself included. My plan is not to start a revolution, but to level the playing field. It's not fair that power is held back by the eldest. Novices need to be guided, though. Think about when we had just ascended. We weren't in any shape to be making important decisions. I don't know about that. Age has its own setbacks. What do you think, Fortuna? Well, about that. I guess it's time I make my stance clear. I'm running for leader myself. What? Oh my. But aren't you exiled? Trace is going to help me run my, the campaign. In fact, it was her who practically forced me into this venture. Okay, and what's your deal? I'm not really sure yet. Still have to define our program, but my sister's dead set in having my divination at the head of the new government. Be quite an asset, all right. You really thought this through? I doubt a criminal has much chance at leadership. Oh, well, that's a bit strong. Not a criminal, Jasmine. Part of the plan becoming next leader is to eradicate unfair punishments. So you actually wanted to meet us to declare war, huh? Not war, I just thought it'd be proper to let you know firsthand. I really think that no matter who wins, the future is bright. Yeah, that's what I like to think. But the stress of competing you two is a bit overwhelming. 
How we use this opportunity to promise that no matter what, we'll still be friends after this race is over. No promises needed. I never had a doubt about it. Likewise, we will always be friends. Thank you. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. You won't. I love you. I love you too. I love you three. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, the next few weeks are about to get pretty busy. I'd better leave and start preparing my knives. Figuratively speaking, I understand. No, no, literally. I am a daggersmith, that's what I do. No need to stab anyone, though. I hope. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, you two take care. Ah, okay. See you. Take care, both of you. Bye. Thanks for coming. Just slap your knees and go, Welp! That's how you get rid of guests.